When I think about all the things we want to do here on the farm in 2019, it's a pretty long list. I want to start fixing the barn. I want to grow more trees. I want to hatch my own ducklings. I want to start selling duck eggs at a profit. I want to start grazing geese on our pasture. William S. Burroughs once said that if you stop growing, you start dying. Truer words have never been spoken. My wristwatch is broken. My shoes are untied. Time is a ticking, and so is the tide. But I am not worried. Things are what they are. Come rain or come shine or a shooting star. Release the Kraken! Release the Kraken! Release the Quacken! Release the Quacken! I think it's a little bit too cold for them to want to go outside today. <laughs> hey, that's how everybody. Whew. All right, it is cold and I gotta make this quick. So, I've got a secret that I've been holding on to now for, gosh, it's it's been a couple of months and I didn't want to tell you guys about it because I wasn't even 100% sure of it myself. I think I might be allergic to duck eggs. The animals that I'm raising and the food that they're producing is gonna make me sick. And that just is what it is. Irony can be so ironic sometimes. I don't think we're gonna be making maple syrup anytime soon. Oy. And then look at this. It's not going to be too long and I'll be able to actually go up to the second story of the house by just walking up the snowbank. That is ridiculous. Yeah, my friends, we're starting to get to that point in winter where, yeah, enough winter. We had some fresh snow last night and I clearly see some predator tracks here. So too big to be the cats. So I'm going to throw up a couple trail cameras tonight to see if it comes back. All right, let's see what is on this memory card. No, no, no. Holy smokes, would you look at that? Whoa, whoa. Crazy. A bobcat could wipe out my entire flock. I don't know. It is what it is. I mean, when you live out here in a kind of remote area and you got a lot of woods around you, there's gonna be wildlife. And I will admit, part of me actually really likes that about our farm that we have so much wildlife here. So I guess I'm just hoping I can strike a balance with uh, Senor Bobcat and uh, things can be cool. <laughs> I've been waiting for it today for quite some time and I'm really excited. Today is the day that we're gonna be tapping our maple trees. That's another tree tapped. There's this other maple right behind it. Would you look at these ridiculous barn cats just chilling out in the sun on the hood of this truck? Dude, not cool. Always wear your crampons. I came out this morning to do my usual duck chores and 
feed and water the ducks and let them out and collect the eggs. And as I walked out to the duck house, I noticed that it was silent. So as I walked up, I had this like nervous feeling in the pit of my stomach. And as I looked in through the window of the duck house, I could see Samuel and Jemima and they were like covered in red. I don't know what exactly happened, but you know, the whole duck house was turned over. There was eggs and blood and feathers everywhere. And as far as the ducks themselves go, let me show you here. It wasn't good. Um, of our 17 ducks, I noticed one missing. Many of the ducks seem to be injured, like they have uh, some sort of bite or attack mark around their neck. Um, you can see this girl right here. She's got it, kinda. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Right now, I'm just really focused on taking care of the ducks, and I don't know what happened. <sighs> you know, it's just so much sadness here. So much sadness. dead ducks one right here I think this one's dead back here look at her Ugh. And the other ducks just are not looking good at all they look even more banged up oh man this is awful what do you see up there Pablo Can't help but feel like this is all my fault. So That's a lot. In love with me. Carve your name next to mine on that big old tree. How you want it to be? Bring me water. Have some more. Have some more. So far, the goslings have arrived without a hitch. What are you biting at, guy? You're just like air chomping. Cause I do the same for you, just like I'm supposed to do. I'm yours, you're mine. If you ever feel in blue, rest assured I've been there too. We just pick up the eggies links off, then we tow the line. That's fine. Sunday breakfast Come on. in bed. Come on, fresh bastard. Yeah, fresh grass. Let's go geeks. Go go geeks. Go go get your geese links. Come on. If you feel like doing anything to take a go I just lay here and stay Cause I do the same for you Just like I'm supposed to do I'm yours You're mine The night before I actually had to separate and herd the geese. I gotta say that separation process was really sad to me. The five geese that I hung on to and, and kept out here in the pasture that night seemed so sad and, and a little scared. 
by the whole experience. They, they really wanted to be with the rest of their flock. The mobile butcher, Dan, and, and his assistant, they, they were really nice people, and, and they were professionals. They knew what they were doing. But one of the things that they'd warned me was that when they plucked the geese, they wouldn't be 100% clean. This was just my first year of trying to raise geese and I feel like I've learned so much and there's so much that I'll do differently with these guys. I also believe that with goose farming, it's potentially a thing that could really transform agriculture. I mean, they are such a more sustainable bird versus turkeys or chickens or ducks. I'm gonna keep trying and keep doing this because I think there's just so much potential and so much power. Look at these little guys. I will admit, she's kind of a freaky looking duckling. Where's the other ones? Where are the ones? Oh. I'm like Mama Duck here. You don't why, like that, why, huh? Why would you think the baby ducks would want to be water, poor thing? Apparently not. What kind of crazy this is this? That was hysterical. <laughs> You're the boldest one of all. Things good? Soon you're gonna be with the quacking. You don't have that much further to go, guys. Release the quacking! <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> Your chicks? Are there ducklings? I thought I heard a squeak. There's our little friend. See one. All right, mom. So I'm gonna need you to get up. I'm gonna need you to get up for a sec. Let me see who else is down there. Can I? Two days ago, I actually went out to check on the ducklings in the morning and and go release the quack in. And when I released them, not all the ducklings came out. And when I went inside to investigate. I'd found that one of the ducklings had died. That night had also gotten pretty cold, so I'm wondering if the mom wasn't giving the, the duckling the body warmth it needed. It didn't seem like there were any attack marks or anything like it was from a drake or some sort of animal. It, it just seemed to expire. Regardless, it was kind of sad. I actually brought the other two ducklings in and tried to get them a warm up just to check on them, but after a short period of time, they seemed like they were doing so well and they were plucky. I was worried that if I would pull them apart, I would actually do more harm than good. So I put them back in with the rest of the flock. Plus it warmed up that day and I, I thought things were okay. But then the next morning, unfortunately, I had a second duckling die. And yeah, it's just a flipping shame. I, yeah, I don't know what to say other than that. I swear, this is like the weirdest duckling I have ever seen. <laughs> That's probably because it's a chicken. So ever since I discovered the fact that I think I might be allergic to duck eggs, I knew that at some point I would want to get my own chickens. So today is gonna be a big day for doing some work on the barn. Today, my buddy Alfred, well he's coming by with his excavator, and what we're gonna do is clean up this mess. When you look at what it looks like now, it's pretty incredible, right? I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. 
All I gotta do is throw down some grass seed and I'm ready to go. And when the appropriate time comes, we are gonna have an epic, epic bonfire over here. And today, we're digging a duck pond. Because I've become so into taking care of waterfowl, I've come to the conclusion that having a nice little pond would be of value for the farm. Yeah, it does look done. Wow, man. Thanks for the help. Yeah. Here, let me break it up for you. Chick, 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 chick. Release the quacking! <laughs> so I've got some sad news for you guys. That just might be the last release the quacking you ever see. Because in today's video, we're moving the ducks out of this duck house and into the new duck house. Yay! So I was outside this morning doing my morning chores and and usually after I do my morning chores I like to uh, you know just take a minute walk around the property see what's going on go look at the trees walk my fence lines check to make sure everything looks okay and as I walked around the corner uh, as I was walking between the woods and the fence between the duck house this is what I saw I can't believe it either. I mean, ugh. I chased him off, walked around for a while, but uh, yeah, bobcats are everywhere. So Allison, where are we going today? Where are we going? I don't know, where are we going? Do you want to tell everybody where we're going? To see the puppy? Yep, so we're going to see the puppy. I don't think I did a good job with that. Yeah? To see the puppy. To see the puppy. I, I, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so, so we are actually in the car right now. Uh, we've been driving a little bit. We're in New Hampshire right now. We're driving to go to the breeder where our livestock guardian puppy is and we're gonna go see it and visit it. Yep, this is the new house. What do you think, buddy? Huh? Here he is. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be such a good dog on this farm here, buddy. You're gonna be such a good dog here. You know, I had a lot of trepidation about the idea of getting a dog, but now that he's here, and now that our farm has a farm dog, I don't think I could be any happier. <laughs> Isn't that right, my friend? Hey, little Lil. How's it going, little barn cat? How are you doing? It kind of blows my mind when I look back and, and see all the stuff that we've done in this past year. I mean, 2019 was such a transformative year for the farm. We had our highs, we had some extreme lows, but all in all, I feel like I did a lot of learning and a lot of growing. And I'm really thankful for everything that this year has created. Hey pal, how's it going, huh? How's it going, my pal? You're getting so big there, Toby. 
I've just been so happy with what Allison and I have been building here at Goldshaw Farm. And I'm just so thankful and appreciative of all the encouragement and support that you guys all around this globe have shown us through our YouTube videos and our podcast. And so I just wanted to say thank you to you guys out there. And I also want to just say right now that 2020 is going to have some big and incredible things, even bigger than this year. This farm is going to continue to transform. New things are going to be coming. Isn't that right, my friend? So if you guys haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and continue to follow us. And I will see you guys in that next video here at Goldshaw Farm, where we're building a farm in Vermont.